This is a Amos hand pump. It can be used to extract groundwater up to 80 meters, but mostly they go not that deep. And today we are showing you how to make the, the well casing uh, going into the ground for this type of pump. Today we are going to drill a borehole with a continuously rotating jetting system. And we use this as a drill head, which is uh, made with uh, PDC inserts as teeth, which are very hard and do not abrade easily. The, it's very light and can be transported uh, with a single person. And the work that uh, is required to make a borehole also only needs one person and it's very light work. Now we attach the drill to the rope. Now we have connected the drill to the power and when I squeeze the handle we use a common hand drill, a quarter drill. I have put it on a handle uh, so it's easy to switch the drill on and off with the brake lever of a bicycle. Uh, the water will be injected here in the handle uh, and it will come out in the rotary, in the rotating shaft, which will be coupled to the drill stem. So we have a continuous rotating drill with water coming out at the bottom. To get the fluid uh, going, we use a very ordinary centrifugal pump. There is a filter on the end, so uh, coarse particles and grass is not sucked into the pump. For the first use, we need to prime the pump with uh, water, so it has something to start pumping. There is a non-return valve mounted on the suction hose, so when we stop pumping, the water doesn't flow back uh, and we don't need to prime the pump every time we start again. In the trench we have dug, you can find the sand and the mud that we drilled out of the hole. When we turn the pump on, water comes into the handle here and exits at the lower end of the drill stem. Water takes away all the cuttings and the particles of the soil. It goes through the, this canal to the mud pit, it will settle in the mud pit. 
So the filter of the pump um, is a little bit above the bottom of the mud pit. So we only pump clean water back, relatively clean, into the drill stem. Okay, I'm going to release the drill by reversing the rotation and it easily comes loose. Now we are good for the next one and a half meters. Now I can lower the drill assembly by only using a finger to release the boat. We wait some time to get all the particles out of the hole. It takes some time. Get a bit out. So taking the samples is not only good for determining the type of soil you're in, it also helps you to remember how deep you went. We use some additives for the drilling fluid. And in this case, we use Barasol, which is a biodegradable polymer. And it has two main effects. Firstly, it increases the viscosity of the water, so particles from down the drilling hole are easily lifted with the water flow, with a lower flow than without the drilling fluid. And it closes, it seals the walls of the borehole. So we don't lose, uh, lose drilling fluid during drilling. And this uh, makes sure that the hole does not collapse while we are drilling. It needs to settle for about 15 minutes before we can use it. now and then you need to check the filter to make sure it is not blocked by by sand or mud uh, every so many meters you need to empty the mud pit because uh, all the particles will end up here as soon as the water level in the mud pit drops we are losing uh, drilling fluid and um, most likely because it's uh, is absorbed by the ground. That means that we have potentially a water bearing layer, which is useful for a uh, well. Uh, if we want to go deeper, we need to add water and also check if the viscosity of the water is uh, good enough. It needs to be a tiny bit slimy. And if it's too thin, we can add more of this stuff. If we have coarse sand for at least the length of our filter screen, we can stop drilling as long as it is below the water table. Uh, and actually there is no way of knowing where the water table is by using only this drilling method. So you have to rely on data elsewhere like other wells in the neighborhood or try. When we are ready with drilling, we extract all the drilling pipes and we insert the casing with the filter screen on the bottom end. So 
after removing the last drill pipe, we quickly want to insert our casing with the filter screen first. Now we are going to prepare the filter screen. It is where the water from the ground enters the casing. So in order to seal the bottom of the well, we will close this part, which will be the end cap of the well. Four to five centimeters, we twist it, we push it together and we put it in a bucket of water. The ends of the end cap, we fold a little inwards, so the pipe is centralizing itself easier in the hole. slide it together in one movement and we make multiple slots in the PVC pipe. You can do this with a hacksaw but if you are lazy like me you can also use an angle grinder. So now we mark the other side and we do the same thing to the other side. You have to take care not to weaken the PVC pipe too much, then it easily breaks when you insert it in the borehole. We tie a knot in one end of the filter cloth. Cloth around it and it will get stuck by the glue. Yes, it will prevent the filter cloth from shifting over the pipe during the insertion. Inside the borehole. And when it's almost there. When the glue has cured, we lift the pipe slightly and we remove the clamps and we lower the pipe. If you are done with inserting your casing and it doesn't go further, um, we put uh, gravel or coarse sand in the borehole, outside of the casing of course. Uh, so the in order to create a filtration pack around the filter screen. When you're done with uh, putting the filter pack around the screen, uh, you need to seal off the borehole so surface contamination cannot enter next to your pipe directly in your borehole. You can use uh, clay like this it's a type of swelling clay, it swells when it gets wet. But you can also use cement or a natural present bentonite or other clay types. You need to develop your well, so to wash out all the small particles, the mud and the clay that is still in the borehole. This will increase the yield of your well significantly. If your groundwater is not too deep, not deeper than seven or eight meters, you can develop and wash out your well uh, using a normal centrifugal pump with a foot valve below, which fits perfectly inside the 50 millimeter pipe we have here. Uh, to wash out the small particles, to even wash them out more than with the pump only, we move the, the hose, we insert it here, quickly up and down in order to create a very high velocity in the slots in the filter segment. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments or questions, please put them in the comments below.